Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Winston. Today we're looking at the seventh beatitude. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And let's just kind of remember the context that, that this is happening in. We had the first four beatitudes, which we call the helpless beatitudes. Those were the poor uh, in spirit and the brokenhearted and those who were weak, meek and, and very humble and those who were thirsty and and hungering after righteousness, after this justice. And, and I picture those people as people being, you know, on their knees and their arms up like this, and they're just begging, I'm so broken and helpless. Lord, help me, there's nothing I can do, I surrender. And then we went into the helpful grouping, this trinity of uh, mercy and purity and now peace, in which we have people who are standing and offering help outward to them and it's it's Christ's beautiful picture of how the gospel operates in our lives so blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God it's when I look at this uh, you think about the word peace and the, the biblical peace is really different than the way we tend in the English language to, to think about it and that's because um, we, my dogs are barking. I hope you can still hear this. And um, and so we think of it. We think of it really differently. And I I tend to think of it like this inner tranquility or this inner peace, you know. Or um, I think of us not being at war. <clears throat> We're not in some big war. There's not this global conflict going on of some kind. But biblical peace is shalom. It's really quite different. It's it's an inner and an outer peace that goes to the community around you. Are you at peace with your brother? And he'll follow in the next, the rest of this Sermon on the Mount, he's going to follow with some commands that are directly relational to where you are in your world to create this peace. And so this this biblical peace is quite different. And, you know, in the Roman days, the Romans were were considered, uh, the emperor was the peacemaker. And he was called the God. He was the son of God. And Jesus takes his title. He turns it upside down and he gives it to the poor in spirit. And he gives it to the brokenhearted. And he gives it to all those that he's talked about here in these Beatitudes, to the pure in heart and now to the peacemakers. And he says, blessed are the, the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And so this is just a great picture of salvation. And and I think of the children of God, it, it reminds me, it re- makes me reflect to the prologue of John's gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. <clears throat> and the Word came and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. And to those who believe, he gave the right to be called the children of God. What a a wonderful picture as Jesus is turning that all upside down again. And and so that is uh, uh, so so critical for us to be thinking about, about this peace that we have to our neighbor. And as Jesus goes on, read on through Matthew and you'll find about, you'll just see that relationship is creating your own little empire of peace to your neighbor, to each other, in your family, and then in you as well. And it's so interesting that the very next Beatitude is going to talk about how the world persecutes those very peacemakers. And that's what we're going to talk about next time. Have a great week. God bless you.